By the time you reach the Division 2's endgame, you'll be a battle-hardened agent armed with a potent arsenal. That's when you'll gain access to a powerful new weapon of your choice. And the extra firepower is going to be crucial when you're confronted by Washington DC's deadliest faction. Meet the Black Tusks. The Black Tusks, definitely the hardest faction that we've ever created. They're very tech focused. They have robotics, they have drones, they have big dogs. So it's like nothing that we've done before on the division. And on top of this, we're gonna unlock the specializations. And they are really crystallized by this idea of a signature weapon. It could be the 50 cal sniper rifle, it could be the grenade launcher or crossbow. That's just the beginning because it's a whole new skill tree, a progression tree, where you can unlock specific talents and mods for that build. And again, we're not going to lock you into that class. It's up to you whether you dip in, dip out, synchronize with your friends to find those, those synergies in between different play styles. Every single activity you can play by yourself or in a group. And that continues to end game as well. The one activity that's gonna be essential for you to have a team is gonna be the raid. For the first time ever in a division game, we're doing eight player activities, super hard, end game, shining jewel of a challenge. And that's gonna be the raid. But to help you team up, we have developed one of the most accessible plan systems I've ever seen. So within three clicks, you can create or join a clan with like-minded gamers who can help you out in a pitch. But before you take on the Black Tusks and all the endgame has to offer, you have to earn your stripes by helping civilians rebuild society and fighting hostile enemy factions. As a division agent coming into DC, your goal, it's going to be, how can I save the city? How can I rebuild the city? That's gonna be split into three different, very distinct missions. First one, you're gonna to have to rebuild your division equipment. Basically, that means rebuilding the base of operations, which is located in the White House, of course, and finding you know, all of those tools and skills and technology that you need to do your job at the highest level. The second part of that mission is to find civilians, to find these settlements, these makeshift forts out in the wilderness. And they really represent a much more personal story for the agent and finding out more about the lives of civilians in Washington, D.C. Hey, thanks for the help out there. The third part, it's cleaning the streets of all of those enemy factions. The Division 2 is fundamentally an RPG, and that means that the more you progress, the more you're going to grow your character, the more you're going to make decisions about who your character is in terms of uh, build. We're never gonna lock you into a specific class. So you always have the choice of changing out your loadouts to do some sort of other uh, profile and working with other players. Because again, this is a cooperative game where you can absolutely play every single activity by yourself or in a group of four. Our private beta launches February 7th. And to guarantee your access, you can pre-order the game now. But for a chance to join, you can sign up at thedivisiongame.com slash beater. And who knows, we may see you on the streets of uh, Washington, D.C.